Welcome to the PlayStation Move Setup Guide. PlayStation Move redefines motion gaming through the combination of the PlayStation Move motion controller and the PlayStation Eye camera. These devices work together to deliver a precise, immersive gaming experience that's easy to pick up and hard to put down. Some PlayStation Move games can even use the PlayStation Eye to put your face in the game. In the next three steps, we'll show you everything you'll need to know to move into the action with the PlayStation Move experience. Let's begin with the PlayStation Move motion controller and a USB cable like the one that was included with your PlayStation 3 system. While the PS3 system is turned on, connect the larger end of the USB cable to the PS3 system. Next, connect the smaller USB plug to the bottom of the PlayStation Move motion controller. Press the PS button on the motion controller to pair the controller to your PS3 system. When a wireless controller is connected to a PS3 system that's turned on, the red status indicator light will blink while the controller battery is charging. If you have also purchased a PlayStation Move navigation controller, you should repeat these steps with that controller. It's a good idea to charge your controllers until this light stops blinking before the first use to ensure a full battery charge. It is very important to disconnect the USB cable before using the motion controller or the navigation controller. Next, we'll take a look at another key part of the PlayStation Move system. The PlayStation Eye camera tracks the movement of the sphere on top of the motion controller, as well as the player's body movements. This video will show you the best way to connect and position the PlayStation Eye for optimal performance. The first step is to set the PlayStation Eye to wide angle mode by rotating the camera lens to the right so the white dot that's above the lens points to the blue dot on the body of the PlayStation Eye. Wide angle mode allows the PlayStation Eye to track movement of the motion controller over the widest possible area. The next step is to place the PlayStation Eye near your television. The best placement is along the center line of your television, either above or below the screen, whichever is closest to your shoulder height. Turn the camera right or left until it faces the same direction as your television screen. Avoid placing the PlayStation Eye on very reflective or shiny surfaces, because you may experience problems if the camera views reflections as player movement. Also, avoid tilting the PlayStation Eye up or down, unless you're playing a game that specifically instructs you to do so. Finally, plug the USB connector for the PlayStation Eye into your PS3 system. Before you get moving, here's some important information to safely enjoy your PlayStation Move experience. First, you should attach the supplied strap to your motion controller and wear the strap around your wrist whenever you use it. The best place to use PlayStation Move is in an open, uncluttered environment where you'll have room to move your arms and body freely without touching nearby objects or people. Always be aware of your surroundings while using the motion controller. Keep a firm grip on the PlayStation Move motion controller during use, and don't swing it with too much force. PlayStation Move works well in a variety of different lighting conditions, but ideally you should minimize direct sunlight, glare, and the amount of backlighting from behind the player. Generally, you can adjust the lighting the same way you would to watch television or a movie. Every PlayStation Move game requires calibration each time the game is launched, or each time a new player joins the game. Follow the on-screen instructions that tell you to point the motion controller toward your television or toward the PlayStation Eye, and press one or more buttons to complete the calibration process. You can recalibrate any time during gameplay by simply holding the Select button on the motion controller and following the on-screen instructions. Finally, remember to take regular breaks from the game. That's it! Now you're ready to exit this guide and get moving with the PlayStation 3's new motion gaming experience.